So I'm in my new apartment and in this video, I'm going to bring you along as I start decorating my living room. I want to incorporate more of a moody, dark, boho, rock and roll vibe in here. And so today I am going to start working towards that using decor. Hello. <laughs> using decor I already own. Then once I've played around with my current decor, <laughs> then I can figure out what new decor I could possibly buy from there. So if you want some dark boho living room inspiration, then come along with me as I decorate this living room and see what sticks. And if you're new here, my name is Steffi and this is Hilo. And on this channel, I give small apartment styling tips and cozy living inspiration. So first, I want to show you my brand new coffee table and side table, which I got from World Market. I am very, very excited about these pieces because they were reasonably priced, but the quality is amazing. This is like some real ass marble. I mean, it's heavy. This coffee table top was so heavy that I needed to call my dad in for help just to lift it out of my car. He of course lifted it like it was a feather. <laughs> Major shout out to my dad who at the drop of a hat will come help me do like anything <laughs> around here. Like he is such a dad. I mean, look at those cargo shorts. <laughs> he is mega dad. So thank you, dad. And yeah, I just, I'm really loving how the coffee table and side table are looking. Here's the styling that I've done, keeping it kind of simple for now, really happy to have my Death Note manga on display again, like I did in the studio apartment. And notice how I'm using the triangle method that I've talked about many times on my channel, which is one of my go-to styling tips. You really can't go wrong with it. Just when you're arranging objects, make a triangle with them. It's pretty much a formula for, for instant, aesthetically pleasing styling. And I'll be honest, the main reason why I got the accent table, frankly, is just to be my dinner table. I've said this before, but I eat all my meals on my couch. <laughs> I haven't had a kitchen table ever. Have I never had a, I've never had a kitchen table. <laughs> I had a little bistro table in the studio that I theoretically was going to use as a table that I would pull out every once in a while, but that really stopped happening after maybe a couple times doing that. I just started eating at my couch or at my desk. Anyway, this accent table, I just bring it out in front of the, the couch and eat my meals while watching TV. So that's really the main function of the accent table, to be totally honest. So other than this coffee table and accent table, nothing else has really changed in here since the last time you saw me. So now I am going to start doing some styling and I'm gonna start by assessing my wall art situation. So I'm gonna go grab all my wall art, bring it out and start coming up with what I wanna do with it. So I just got out all of my wall art and here it is. I definitely, I'm, I'm a fan of black and white and this makes it all the more <laughs> apparent. I'll walk you through what I have real quick. Um, so I have my dark and foggy sort of Pacific Northwesty vibes right here. And then of course my musicians, I have Poe, Fiona Apple, Taylor Momsen of The Pretty Reckless, and of course Beck. 
And then over here, I have my map of New York. Just got this at Target like years ago. Not sure if I'm gonna actually use this, but we'll see. And then we have my Aunt Flo. This is one of her photographs from the 1930s. She was a, a dancer and actress back in the 30s. So this is obviously a, a special sort of family piece. I mean, look how, look how gorgeous she is. Just honestly, the epitome of glamour. And then over here, Hilo is fiercely guarding, for whatever reason, <laughs> this magnolia wall hanging. Oh, you, you're really on that, aren't you? <laughs> she, she has claimed this as her own, apparently. <laughs> but anyway, I have, um, I have this, which is so pretty and is clearly Hilo's favorite piece. <laughs> So this is really helpful just seeing everything out like this because now my brain starts to kind of play Tetris, like art Tetris with this. And I think about how these can fit together, what can go where. This is where things get fun and also a little stressful. <laughs> it's overwhelming for sure. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. I am for now going to focus on the TV wall because I'm very intimidated by this wall. So I feel like if I get this wall done, then I'll be in a better place to tackle that wall. I'm intimidated by this wall, by the way, because it's just like this big empty wall and there are so many things that could be done with it. Wondering if it needs a gallery wall, does it need wallpaper, does it need paint? There are so many things swirling in my mind, so I need to make this more manageable for me. So I'm gonna start with what I think is the easier one because I already have an idea. I think I'm gonna put my, oh, hello, Hilo. <laughs> I think I'm going to put my sound wave art above the TV. Those will be perfect right there because it's just like a, a row of three similar things. I'm a big fan of threes and it immediately gives the, the rock and roll vibe that I'm going for. Um, so it's kind of an easy win to start with those sound wave prints above the TV. Oh, by the way, this is what I use to hang all of my wall art. I use these command strips. Highly recommend for any of my fellow renters. It's much easier than drilling holes in the wall. And it's just, it's just honestly, it's just easier all around. Right, Hilo? The sound waves are up. It's always a very nerve wracking experience, hoping that you are eyeballing it as best you can and getting the spacing right. Doing straight lines is always tricky, but I think it, I did a pretty good job of lining them up just like I did at my studio above my bed. And uh, they're especially meaningful because they are three of my favorite songs of all time. Strawberry Fields Forever by The Beatles. Going to California by Led Zeppelin and All Along the Watchtower by Jimi Hendrix. Well, originally Bob Dylan, but the Jimi Hendrix version. So now I'm going to start thinking about what I can do from here. So I'm kind of feeling this right now. Of course, I just stacked them on top of each other just to get sort of a, a vague idea of what this could look like. But I don't know, I feel like it could be a cool sort of vertical versus horizontal statement. And I really love how these two pieces convey sort of a dark, witchy, Pacific Northwest Twin Peaks vibes. And that's something I would like to, to look at while I'm sitting on the couch. So yeah, I'm contemplating this. 
I can also go with something simpler, which I forgot to lay out my listen to the wind blow, watch the sunrise. This could go right there. This would be a little bit mm, potentially repetitive in terms of more of like graphic, you know, black ink on white style, but I'm gonna sort of get an idea of what this could look like too. You know what I think I'm gonna do? I think I'm gonna go with the Foggy Trees art, for now at least, because it's kind of the biggest risk, but I just need to get it out of my system, see what it looks like there, and then if it works well, then yay, that's awesome. I, I love the statement that would be making. It would be a lot going on for sure, I will fully admit to that, but <laughs> I have never been one to shy away from a lot going on. So at the very least, I need to get this out of my system. And then if I end up loving it, then awesome. Actually, I really like it. It's kind of a lot, but I love that it's giving the moody vibes that I love. I also love that it employs one of the styling tricks that I really like, which is to create like windows with your wall art. So these would be windows to one of my favorite views, which is foggy trees. So I think for now, I am, I'm gonna keep it this way. I think, I think it looks cool. <laughs> Let me give you a little insight into my method in terms of how I decided to hang these, like at what height and how far apart. So basically I used this console table as a guide and just basically pretended like what if this surface of the console table continued and then put the art just a little bit above that. So that's a tip is when you're hanging art or really doing any styling in your apartment, use the natural lines or the, the existing lines in the space as a guide. So this is a line that already exists here. So I used it as a guide for where I would hang this. So now I'm feeling the instinct that something needs to go right there, to sort of complete this picture. And I am trying to decide whether it should be Fiona Apple or the New York map. Now, in terms of subject matter, I love the idea of Fiona Apple being there. But on the other hand, the New York map, um, since it's vertical, might be a better fit there. Like I feel like something vertical would do a better job of balancing out the height that these two pieces bring. Here, I'm just gonna prop them up one at a time and see. So here we have Fiona Apple and she would be hung up like right about there. Mm, she might be a little too small. I don't know. Let's try New York. So here's the New York map and oh, I'm really on the fence. It, it would look really good too. I also like the idea of the sort of marriage between three subject matters that are meaningful to me. So we have like moody, witchy, Pacific Northwest vibes. We have rock and roll. And then we have New York, which I lived in for six years, went to NYU. It's very meaningful to me and a big part of my past. So this is very tricky, Fiona or New York. I think in this case, I'm gonna go with what I think is the right choice in terms of scale and proportion and how it relates to everything else in its vicinity. And that's gonna be the map of New York. Sorry, Fiona, I will find a very special place for you. But yeah, I just think that New York is gonna look really cool right there. And I also, I really like how these flowers are playing upon it. Like look how pretty the, the orangey yellow flowers are against the sort of stark black of that. Yeah, I think this is, this is the right choice.
Well, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. I feel like this wall was a big milestone for this living room. So this is a good place to stop for now. Stay tuned for next week. I'm gonna keep decorating in here. Um, over the course of the making of this video, I have had some ideas for what I can do for that wall and stay tuned because I'm just gonna keep decorating in here. That's what all my upcoming videos are gonna be focused on. So definitely, ooh, <laughs> definitely stick around if you want to keep on decorating with me. Let me know in the comments below, what do you think of what I've done so far in this living room? What do you think of this wall? What do you think of my coffee table styling? Let me know. And remember, your apartment is destined to be pretty and you are pretty powerful.